road, doggo. Man, you need to get out of the road, old man. You need to get out of the road before you get smushed. I had a guy come up to me, uh... <laughs> I wish I had it on video, I wish I had GoPro footage of it, but this guy ran up out in the middle of the road and he stopped me and he's like, hey, the Popo's up there, the Popo's right up there around the corner doing something. I'm like, dude, this thing is street legal, man. And he, he's like, oh? He turns around, he walks away. Just weird as shit. Like, like, like defeat, utter defeat. It was so funny. But, I appreciate him looking out for me, but... You know, that's what happens when you try to, that's like my luck. That's what happens when you try to do something nice for somebody. You end up looking stupid. It's usually what happens to me. I do it anyway, though, because I don't learn my lesson. So, yeah. Probably just going to get a little bit of footage out here. Riding around town. Chill little video today. More. It's going to be more riding, less topic. Topic based, I guess. Some fun, but yeah. If you're new around here, welcome to the video. Still a little chilly. Still got the country boy clothes on. I love the country boy clothes. I don't know if you do, but I do because they're warm. Nice little day out here. Uh, if you're new, welcome. If you're back, welcome back. I love you. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Glad to have you guys along the journey. You know, I got this Grom. If you didn't know and you just got here, your first video. Got this Grom back in December. I've almost put 600 miles on it. Which today I'm going to try to get to 600 miles and then I'm going to do a oil change. So that'll be pretty dope. Get that over with. And you know, see how everything's going. Maintain everything, get the chain all fixed up. Just get everything fixed up, I guess. And maintenance wise. But yeah, get everything fixed up, fixed up. Oh, smells like booty. I like booty in here. Something's burning. Oh, it's not me. Pretty God, it's not me. We're gonna have some troubles. Honda shops gonna be hearing from me. Which they might not listen to me because I don't know what the warranty is. I probably need to look at that, but yeah, this thing's pretty much brand new. First oil change today, so I need to go buy the parts store later, I guess. I don't really want to do it on video because I'll kind of look like a cornball going in there with my camera, but and I and I like don't exactly know what I need. I need to look at the manual again, which I should already know. But, you know, I'm, I'm a cornball, so I don't always do the things that I'm supposed to do, but yeah, I plan on making a, I think my next video is going to be, howdy partner, my next video is going to be, uh, going to work my commute to work because some of you might be interested in that a lot of people buy groms for commuting which is a really good idea highly recommend it because the amount of gas i'm saving is like i mean if i can go to work i go to work 10 times through the week or 10 times over the span of two weeks for five dollars and before in that in my truck that would be like a hundred bucks so like i mean just think about that man the difference is in absolutely insane i think most people should be i mean a lot of people probably don't even know you can you know like the benefits of a motorcycle right because you know most people have cars some families don't even have motorcycles which my dad never rode, rode motorcycles, but, you know, we've always had dirt bikes and stuff. And I've always been interested, and recently I took a, t a liking to it, so. Yeah, here we are. I learned something that I needed, that I didn't know I needed. If you're going far, though, I probably wouldn't commute. 
on a Grom. You might need a 1000. <laughs> get there, get there a little faster. Yeah, I mean legally, right? Obviously by following the laws. But yeah. I wonder if they still got this barbecue joint up here. That's another thing. I'm gonna start making videos where I go to like eat somewhere, right? Wouldn't that be kind of cool? Where I have like destinations where I go eat at a little local place. That could be interesting, right? Maybe, maybe not. I mean, it's a good idea. At least try it. See if you guys enjoy it. But I need to get. I have an old GoPro Hero Session. I think it's maybe a five. I'm not sure. I don't know if it, what quality it records in, but if I could have, you know, a camera here so you guys can see what I look like, I feel like that might be a little bit more engaging for you guys, you know, to switch back and forth, you know, in different scenarios it would be kind of cool. Or I might have to eventually buy a new camera for that and a mount because I don't have a mount. Either way, eventually I'm going to have to figure that out. Because you guys would enjoy that. I would enjoy it. Editing might be a little tricky, but you know, I'll learn. I used to edit videos back in the day, so... I know the basics. Pretty, I'm pretty fundamentally alright at editing. Depending on the software, but... Yeah. One thing I've noticed since I got this bike is the chain has loosened up so much. Like, so much. I've had to tighten it like twice, three times. Which, I don't know if that's bad. I don't think it's bad, you know, because it's new. But, you know, I, I guess you could kind of assume things would loosen up over time to start with. But... I'll have to look at every look at the manual, look at you know what exactly is supposed to be happening, because I want everything to be alright, you know. The last thing you want when you're going down the road at 50 miles an hour is your chain to snap and go through your leg and bind you up and end up on your head like what's his face? Humpty Dumpty that fell over the, the damn wall. Well yeah. And this thing feels great. This thing feels great. For the new guys, new guys, new gals that are here watching, I'm gonna stop somewhere up here. And I'm gonna go over my mods again, because it's been a few videos since I did that. And uh, that's definitely something that you guys are probably interested in, so I might as well go over it if you guys are new go over it again real quick because it doesn't take that long so just get it done there's a bike path up here you know like the little place where you park your cars for the bike path I could probably stop right up here and show you guys the mods yeah don't do this driving without hands is not definitely not safe okay we always want to follow the rules. And we always want to be safe. I'm an idiot. Do not do what I do, ever. So I'm going to turn right here and park. Not in this mud. Because I don't want to clean this thing just yet. But yeah. Mods. Uh, it's kind of complicated. Because I made a mistake back here. But TST Industries Integrated Tail Eye. I'm getting a new one. <laughs> That's going to be replaced this week. I messed it up. Yoshimura Full Exhaust. Sounds beautiful. Definitely worth the money. Chimera Intake. I love it. No complaints there. ASV Levers. In my opinion, these are a must. The stock levers are just not... They're not very ergonomic either. Pro Taper Bars, KLX 110s, ASVs on both sides, CRG, bar and mirror. 
which you need this adapter they don't tell you but I did some research and there's an adapter that goes in there and then the CRG goes on there instead of having to put the mirror directly on the bar there's a little adapter made for it that's slotted which they don't tell you I have the quad lock for my iPhone and yeah it's pretty much mods I think oh DHM tune have DHM tune down below for the chimera and the full exhaust but yeah that's pretty much for the mods for you guys wondering lift up my visor here because I cannot see anything because I was stopped with no airflow and with no airflow it gets very alright so sweet little video if you enjoy it don't forget to like subscribe turn on post noties i appreciate you guys stopping by new or returning viewer i love you guys either way i, I pay attention so comment if you have any thoughts i will read it so uh, it's been a sweet video peace